my god so i actually just got a new keyboard and this thing is absolutely amazing i am completely in love with it now i'm actually not sponsored by drevel because they actually completely ignored me but this video is actually sponsored by solo learn an online platform teaching programming on the go for free SoloLearn provides compact courses that will allow you to grasp the basics of programming without having prior coding knowledge. I personally used SoloLearn back in 2013 when I was getting started as a programmer. I remember doing cool challenges in Objective-C and learning programming fundamentals with their C module. SoloLearn will introduce you to this crazy world of development and will allow you to slowly move into bigger and greater things. If you're a web developer, you might want to try their playground since you will be able to test small features using CSS and JavaScript on the go. Below, you will find a non-affiliate download link to SoloLearn. So I really didn't want to break the bank and buy an extremely custom 60% keyboard. So two weeks ago, I decided to go on Amazon and I found a new version of the Calibre. And for $80, well, I decided to get it. As you guys see from my pictures on Instagram, my desk is sort of minimalistic, so having a 60% keyboard that has a minimalist style and a nice look to it is definitely a bonus for me. But what can you get with an $80 mechanical keyboard? First of all, the keyboard did come with a keycap remover, a USB-C to USB cable, which is one of the new additions to the V2, and magnetic stands which is also a new addition to the V2. The keyboard layout and functionality has changed. The new V2 has new accent lights and a total of 17 RGB modes to choose from. This time around, Drevel decided to add a total of five Bluetooth connections with the possibility of choosing Mac or PC mode along them. From my own personal experience, things come very handy as my first mode is for my Mac, my second mode is for my PlayStation 4, and my third mode is actually for my iPhone. Pairing is actually a lot easier than before. This time they created a separate pairing key in order to connect to your devices. Last time guys, it was not ideal. Like the old caliber, you're able to change the speed of the RGB as well as all the modes together straight from the keyboard. And my personal favorite, battery life. This thing has improved drastically in terms of battery life. I did own two V1 keyboards in the past and the battery was just absolutely terrible to the point that it wouldn't even last a day. This time around, I have been using the keyboard intensively. It's been three days. I've been coding on it. I've been playing Call of Duty. I've been even using it on my phone and the battery life is still going strong. They do offer these keyboards with blue, red, brown, and black switches. I personally decided to go with brown switches just because the last two calibers I owned were blue switches. And if you guys want to hear what brown switches sound on this keyboard, here's a clip of it. The typing experience hasn't changed at all from the version one. I've always enjoyed typing on these keyboards. The only issue I had in the past was definitely battery life. The next step for me is definitely to get some cool keycaps as well as some crafted ones for my WASD and my escape key. I don't even know if I'm supposed to say WASD or WASD. Anyways, you guys get the point. And the only complaint I have about this keyboard is the fact that the media keys don't seem to be working on a Mac, which is pretty, pretty disappointing, but it's definitely something to look at. So Drevo, if you're watching this video, you might want to look into that. Other than that, for $80, I am extremely impressed with their new product. Down below, you guys will find an affiliate link to this keyboard. If you guys would like to keep up with my experience with this keyboard, don't forget to follow me on Instagram. If you enjoyed this video, subscribe to the channel and give it a like, please. Like, smash, like, psh, smash the like button, please. And I'll see you soon, probably in another month.